Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Hey, everybody. Back here is here. <laughs> Welcome back. Neo Scavenger, part seven. It's been a... I, I had to work the last couple days, and it was a weird shift. So, um, yeah, I'm a little paranoid. I'm going to mess up the good thing here. Now, this is uh, dirty rags. I want to go ahead and take those off. Oh, not that. Um, rags. Yeah, take that off. And I'm going to go ahead and put a new one on. Why is it? There we go. Clean rag. All right. And we'll continue looting, guys. So, I think the goal right now is just to do some more exploring. Gather, th gather some more items to trade. And go from there. We got a couple of these book packs. Uh, book, book packs. Book packs, really? Book bags. And uh, not really much else worth a whole bunch of money. And those aren't even that great. I could boil water. You could always go and get meat and cure it and do that sort of thing. But I kind of want to do some exploring while we do this. And uh, looting while we do that. All right, so hunger, thirst, not too bad. Ah, oh, we got one of these guys. Oh, he's got, he's, he's rocking, he's rocking some crow, crowbars akimbo. So, let's, uh, let's go down here and see what's up with him. I think I want to fight this guy. Alright, here we go. He's 29 out, so I want that blue sash. Uh, he's a blue frog preacher. Strong, tough vulnerable well we're just gonna have to take advantage of that vulnerable part advance 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 and it stopped raining I, I said in the last episode along the ocean I, I, I know that Detroit is not on an ocean someone pointed out they're like I live in Detroit I think it's hilarious that you think it's an ocean that it's an ocean I'm like no I live in Ohio I understand it's a Great Lakes <laughs> I got gotcha. you it actually I was looking I I, uh, I wanted to see because I wasn't sure if Lake Erie actually came up that far because we're kind of north of Detroit it might be the uh, the river that I think connects to Ontario if I'm not mistaken Lake Ontario to Lake Erie mm, okay anyway not 100 sure what that coastline is but it's either a river or uh in the game here it's either a river or a uh, lake it's definitely definitely not an ocean i understand all right again i'm not going to drop my sled because i'm paranoid that we won't be able to it'll disappear had it happened before so i'm just going to keep attacking the old dude here he's got a he's got night vision on hopefully he's got Hopefully he's got, uh, he's falling, he's unconscious. Let's just finish him. Hopefully he's got batteries in that thing. It's not just for show. All show. Oh, he's got a gas mask. That's what that is. And what are those, filters? Let me see what these are. Cartridges. Whoa. Uh, oh, I thought that said $238. No, okay, it's $23. Okay. Well, got two of those. Let's uh, go ahead and throw that on. I guess, oh, we can keep the clean rag on at the same time. So that should protect us from any black mold while we're uh, looting areas and when we have that random event. That's a 29% crowbar to 43. I don't think... I think ours is way, way better than that. Yeah, it is. I want to destroy... Wait, how much are these worth? $8. Nah, we're going to destroy this. Take up too much room and not worth that much. We got some lighters here, though. And is that another cr cartridge? It is. So we got another cartridge for our, our new gas mask. Put that down here with the batteries and things like that. Some more scraps of foil. We'll grab those. Now, I remember reading, and I don't know if I told you this in the previous episodes or not, but there was an article that I read that talked about uh, Camp Grayling or something, some sort of camp. But a guy breached the security by putting, making like a tin foil outfit. So, so I, I see all this foil here. I'm thinking that might be what we'll use later on. So I'm going to keep it. He had a hospital gown? Alright, we're going to take the blue sash for sure. Can I wear that? I can. Let's go ahead and put that on. I think that either keeps those people away or makes them like happy with you so they won't attack you. Either way, I'm going to put that on. And then if I need to use it as a bandage, so be it. But it's not going to take up any room in my inventory. So that works. Uh, blueberry, I don't, I don't care if we... Yeah, I do want the lighter though. 
I do have a special spot for lighter. I do. It's right down here, but unfortunately, that's where my recipes are. Do I have any? Hold on. I don't have any. That's all ammo. Okay. I remember what was in my hoodie pockets. All right, we'll have to find somewhere. Maybe I'll put it in my first aid kit. Yeah, because I'm not likely to just drop that by accident. I just don't want to drop it by accident. Okay, where to now? We need to keep... I don't think we're too close to... Uh, yeah, I think I counted the hexes and we're actually outside of the, the, uh, the, like, already looted areas. So, let's go ahead and make sure that I'm recording. Yeah, okay, five minutes in. All right, let's go ahead and check out this area here. So what I want to do is I want to I'm going to basically do a loop. I'm going to come up here, kind of do a loop around, and then maybe come back down through Zomzoms and just kind of do a and then kind of like do a cut like right through this area here. So I'll kind of do that, and I, I could just sort of like spiral my way in. I don't know. It seems like it seems like a way to do it. I don't know if it's a good way or a bad way, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I might cut it short and run back to uh, Detroit to. Uh, offload things as well uh, if need be we'll, we'll see we'll figure it all out the scavenge but we'll take our time we'll enjoy the ride and uh, try to get some good stuff here oh, it looks like there quite a bit of stuff there I said Patrick Hyde tunic I've heard that once you get you know it, it's not the worst idea to go ahead and sell it the sell the uh, dogman coat um because it's like worth two, over $200. Because uh, you can always kill more dogmen and then make more coats. And as long as you have a patch, patchwork uh, tunic to put on. I'll probably keep this for now. How much is this worth? 22 bucks. Okay, yeah, we'll keep that. If I'm keeping backpacks, I might as well keep that. And that should fit in there. That does. All right, cool. This cargo pants are worth some money. And I can actually put stuff in the cargo pants. So I can have the cargo pants, plus I still get to keep the same amount of inventory space. So that's an option. That's a good idea. It takes me a little while to figure these things out, but eventually I get there, folks. And then I'll probably get killed in my sleep when uh, when I have everything all set up. And all right, so we're tired, we're burdened, still good on hunger and thirst. I need to keep an eye out for food, maybe. I don't know. Get up here, and take a little better look around. But we can always run back and get food. It's the nice thing. All right, so we got some something out here. Let's uh, let's do a search. It's a melon head. A feeble, frail, barefoot, vulnerable melon head. Let's kill him. Let's lure him to his death. And he's falling and bleeding. All right. He's stunned, crippled, left arm. Bleeding, severe pain. What did I hit him with? Got him in the upper left arm with a stab. Became crippled. Stunned. Okay. Now he's in shock. He's unconscious. And, okay. Got his head with the stab. That's what happened. And we finished him off. And he probably doesn't have much with him, but we can eat these black and blueberries just fine, so we're going to do that. And we got some whiskey. Is it drunk, drunk overgrown baby is what it was. Some shards. Do I have shards? I, yeah, I got five right here. Yeah, that's fine. That was really good, though. 95%. Alright, let's keep moving. Might return here to uh, get some... Oh, I was going to say we might return here to get some sleep, but nah, we don't want me to. I want to cover up my tracks here. Hide tracks. I want to go ahead and hide. And now we'll move in. And... Uh, Go ahead and end turn, and I'll hide my tracks, tracks again here. There we go. Oh, a sled. Look at that. Plastic sled. Now we just need some string. And it's 43%. What's ours at? 56? We're going to trade up, because look at the space on that. It's, it's way better than this. So we're going to add some... Let me first bake it before I offload everything. That was actually a really good find. No recipes. A uh, sled with string or something. It's around here somewhere. Plastic sl sled with strap. Yeah, there we go. All right, put that over here. And uh, yeah, just trade that out here. 
and we'll empty this out. It's only worth two dollars and eighty-five cents. I was like, I wonder how much that thing is worth. It's it's not worth that much. Right. Throw that in there. We got three tarps here. Oh, that's not gonna work at all, is it? Put it in vertical. That should work. Yep. What if I go vertical here? Mm, ugh. Yeah, not really. Noise traps. Make a third noise trap when I'm exploring these areas. Yeah, we got we got a phone. Does it have any? Is it, the question is, does the insufficient charge? We can get sparks from the. Uh, how much is that worth? Seventeen bucks. How much is that battery by itself worth? Two dollars. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh. Yeah, there. Eat some saltines. I think everything else is fine. Cargo pants. We'll take those. Can we stack them? Nope. Apparently not. Okay. Well, I'm happier with that. We upgraded. Can destroy this. Not going to let anybody else loot better than me. Let's kill or be killed, folks. Crumbling, storage shed, cl crumbling, and storage shed. All right. Looting gets so much better once you have the crowbar and, and a uh, light source. Yeah, shotgun shells. That'll be worth some money. 150 bucks. Ooh. Okay. Now we should be able to stack that on what we already have here. Or not. You're going to be difficult like that, are you? Okay, I see how you are. Alright, let's put that there for now. They're getting good and tired. Pebbles, okay. Let's keep, uh, let's keep going. Scope, another scope, another cell phone. All right, we'll, do, we'll take that. Uh, let's try going this way. That's better. Another scope worth 45 bucks. Everything else, not really too much, too worried about it. We're definitely doing pretty well here. Ooh, that seems like a lot of stuff. Eight dollars. I am not going to take those with me for eight bucks. Nineteen. Okay, but if I need to, they're probably going to be the first to go. Here, hold on. Let me try this. Kind of want to try organizing this thing myself, but I think if I put these in the right order, we can make it work. Okay. So put these in. Put these in. Put the tarp. Tarps in. It's twenty-seven dollars worth of tarps. Uh, put the strap in, and we probably, yeah, we'll turn that like so. Put the scope in. What's this article say? Failed again. A prosecutor associated with the international peace movement was arrested Thursday after bypassing the active denial system (ADS) perimeter at Camp Grayling. Ah, here it is, in a tinfoil suit. J uh, Jack Haley, forty-three of Grayling, Michigan was where's Grayling is that actually a place maybe I should head that direction like look at a map of Detroit and be like oh it's to the uh, upper left or it's straight straight to the west uh, or straight north of Detroit I don't know was cited for, on suspicious probably it's probably fictitious but cited on suspicious of tra suspicion of trespassing on government property he was found by security forces after crossing a runway wearing a reflective suit composed of aluminum foil it's believed the foil allowed him to bypass the ADS unharmed yeah, translation like radio, radiation force field, I guess is what it was, a uh, Freya. Uh, when asked if this constituted a failure in ADS, the Army spokeswoman said, We had a breach, we responded, and everybody walked away healthy. I don't think we have any more to concerns today than we had before. All right. So there's that interesting article there. So, all right. Let's uh, do another scavenge. Should be nightfall here very soon. But this will probably be a pretty good spot for us to 
bed down for the night. Ooh, 2.4%. That's horrible. That's a good condition, and that's worth some money. Take that. Which way will it fit? I don't think it'll fit that way. No, but if we turn it sideways. No? Really? It's definitely not fitting in there. Alright, we'll just put it up here for now. I think everything else is kind of crap. Except for that huge sleeping bag. Goodness gracious. I have a feeling we'll end up dropping that pretty quick, but tennis shoes not worth anything either. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go up here on this mountain top to see. No, okay, nothing. Can't see anything. So this will all be forest probably around us. And nightfall. No, still really. Ooh, what do we walk into here? Stranger. Military rifle with strap. Uh, get behind. Get behind cover. DMC guard. Oh. I'm not going to mess with him right now. I don't feel like I'm strong enough, and I really don't want to lose this run right now. So I'm just going to talk to him. Just you keep your nose clean, and we got no trouble, he says through a face mask. All right, buddy. I feel it's going to be nightfall now. There we go. Okay, let's head back down here to town. Let's uh, in turn and then in race tracks and hide and in turn. Let's go ahead and sleep because we're weary. And uh, I think I'll probably head back and trade in a lot of what we got, get some more food, and uh, we can head out again. What I might do. I don't know. It seems like a good plan to start heading this way. I hope we run into some animals that we can hunt out here. Because you can't really take the meals with you. They make you eat them right away, I think, right? I don't think you can take the meals from the uh, Last Chance Canteen with you. Otherwise, I'd stock up on a few. So I think we'll go back here, fill up our tummies and top off our thirst or top off our hydration. Then maybe head head back this way. Just kind of walk this way, or maybe cut across and then come down. I don't know. We'll see. But I think we got quite a bit of stuff. And uh, if I here's the other thing, if I come back this way, I'll be able to do some looting in this area, and probably fill up my bag before we get back to Detroit. So all right, yeah, let's do that. And let's go ahead and set up for. Sleeping. We got options, don't we? Abandoned IT office. Well, let's do the abandoned, abandoned IT office. That's going to be better shelter than. Oh, I had two of them. One's better than. Why would you set me up in the one that's not as good, like by default? Yeah. The one that. That's the one I want right there. Okay. So I don't need to do a fire. I'm going to set up noise traps, though. I have, I have two, and I need to build one. So let's do that. Oops. That's not what I wanted. There we go, noise trap. Yes. No, not the pill bottle. You goofball. Let's see here. I got two there. Where's my there it is. Nothing in it. I just want to make sure I'm not dumping anything else. Okay. That looks good. One. Where's the rest of my stuff? Stuff on the ground. Oh, because it's in my pockets. It's not on the ground. That's right. Okay. Uh, what else? Hold on, hold on. I need, I, need my, I need my sleeping bag. I would like that. I'm okay with using that. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to put my sleeping bag in here anymore because then I have to empty out everything just to get to it. So I'll keep that separate. Let's see here. Two cell phones.
Oh, there's a condensed soup. I could eat that right now. Yeah, use that. Will it help with a thirst? A little bit. Yeah, it did. Blue jeans. I think that's everything I wanted. Seemed like more came out of the bag, but I think we're good. Okay. So let's put this down here. Two more noise traps. Max out our alertness. Sleep in the sleeping bag. And things are looking pretty good for us. So I think we'll do all right. We have plenty of room to put the uh, sled down here, so I think I might actually unhook from the sled in case we get ambushed in the middle of the night. Normally I wouldn't. I just want to make sure that it doesn't get erased. I'm a little paranoid. So there we go. And we're ready to jump up and start fighting if we have to. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's get some sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, morning time. Dawn. Let's uh, first things first. Let's grab our sled. Put that where it needs to go. I think so. Things look pretty good there. Got an extra can, I guess. Uh, yeah, we don't need that because it actually you lose. It takes up six spots, but you only get four spots back, so that's not a very good exchange. Space, uh, space exchange there. So I'm going to deconstruct. Maybe I'll just keep it together, right? I'll just keep that. I'll just keep that noise trap together. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's just do that. I really wish you could stack three noise traps. That's fine. Let's just do that. Alright, good enough. Alright, let's so, sort of start working our way. I'll move, move out just maybe uh, one more. And then kind of... Let's see where we're at. Kind of work our way back down. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Found another city to check out. Some chips. Now, I wonder... That's a foil bag. I wonder if I can turn that into... Let me do a little crafting here, see if I can... Make the, can I make this into foil? Oh my gosh, it's 12 foil scraps. Okay, well, I... I think that's the answer. Get down here, I guess. Wow. Okay. I can all, I max out at not at thirty. Okay, that's all right. Got another tarp. Nine dollars. Cornicola advertisement. Okay. Let's keep searching. Another sled. Is it better than ours? No, it's not. It's only worth three dollars as well. Jeans aren't worth much. Training shoes. Hmm. Sixty-nine. It's worth uh, twenty dollars. That's not too bad. And sterilized water. Oh, there's three recipes here. Stand by. Let me open these up. Shopping cart. Yeah, I don't need that. I know how to make that. I know how to make that. I think I know how to make all that stuff. Actually. I'll add the shopping cart to our pile of recipes. Okay. Not too bad. And I think we got a couple more to search here before we venture off. Oh, just one more. Okay. CD worth nothing. Some black cargo pants. really see anything new that looks looks interesting at all okay well let's keep moving down here stranger should we kill him take his stuff oh we met on the same tile is he not going to let us I just want to end my turn alright Oh, I don't want to drop my V 
vehicle here. He'll, he'll steal from it if I can get into combat right away. I have to chase him all over the place. Yeah, I kind of want I kind of want a piece of this guy. He's a looter, so he oh he's really close. Yeah, let's lure him. Fallen, bleeding, all that stuff. Uh, burdened, vulnerable. Yeah, because I I must have fallen. Oh, he's one away. That's what happened. He ended up getting a little bit of distance on me. He didn't take me down. Okay. Yeah, I'm not falling. Okay. He's coughing up blood. It's never a good thing. What we got here? Got him in the head with the stab. Severe pain. Having trouble concentrating. Yeah, he's, he's hurt. That's it. He died of uh, severe traumatic brain injury. Got him in another another headshot with a spear. Oh, this might be good. Four dollars, nine dollars. Level thirty. He's carrying poison ber berries with him. Okay. And we got a forest and some water. I might just cook up some water if we got both. Sort of like the best of both worlds here. Human out corpse, one dollar. Can I actually take the corpse and trade it in for a dollar? I don't know. The riot bag's not too bad though. And it looks like you get more space out of it than it takes up. So we're gonna definitely make use of that. First, let's empty it out. See what we want. Nothing in the first aid kit. I was hoping for something good, but that looks like some sketchy water. So dollar twenty-five. We're not gonna mess with that. The map is worth two dollars. These are poisonous as well. So the only thing we really want is this riot bag. Um, we put it here, and we can start filling that up too. And a first aid kit things only worth dollar forty-four. So I'm not gonna mess with that. All right, let's uh make some fire, make some water, hydrate. Got zero moves left, so we're going to have to definitely, definitely, definitely end our turn. And now we are ready to start a friction fire. Take that, put it up here. I don't think we need anything bigger than that. So let's go ahead and put that down here. Let's grab some of these waters. Was that sterilized? Oh, that's from one of my bottles. Okay. Well, here. Let's just... Let's put that back. I want to... I can't drink from it right now. Okay. I guess I did have a couple that were sterilized. Did I have that many? I didn't think I had that many. Maybe I did. Wow, that's a lot more sterilized water than I thought I had. Okay. Well, we're going to have even more now. So, and I need a pot to boil it in. There was one on the ground, so. Here we go. I should have one in my bag, too. But, yeah, this is the one that's in my bag, 100%. Where's the other one? There was one on the ground. Oh, well. Who cares? I must not. Uh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Up here. Okay. We'll use the one that's on the ground. This one. I think we'll get it all done. Yeah. All right. It worked out good. Nice. So let's go ahead and drink up. I think we're maxed out, but just for good measure. Okay, very good. Yeah, I guess we did have a lot of water here. Well, no worries now. Okay, let's keep moving. That was definitely worth the, uh, the fight. There's a house in the woods here. Definitely check that out. Check these crossroads out guy's got a backpack on too. I kind of want to take out one of these DMC guards, but I just don't know. I'm not brave enough quite yet to do it. I think I could take him out. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty epic when it comes to hand to hand, right? I'm pretty sure I could get in close before he would ever try to like shoot me because he's just hanging out. He'd be like, hello, adventurer. And I'd be like, stab. Uh, $17. Yeah. 
half a pair of binoculars. So, okay. I guess. Where are we going to put these? They fit there? Hmm. Maybe if I didn't have such a weird way of organizing things. Okay, we'll put them in there. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, we're not going to take that shoe. 34 and 40% condition. Okay. Is that it for this particular hex? It is. Okay. Oh, three mobile homes. And yet it moves. A year after uprisings, militia militias hold sway in the Galilean Confederacy. One militia controls Europa's spaceport. Others carve up colonies on Ganymede into fiefdoms. They clash both on the surface and in orbit, terrifying colonists and holding detainees in makeshift prisons where torture is said to be rampant. Is that fiction, or is that actually how long I've been asleep? My goodness, we're having, like, Star Wars things going on here. All right. Okay, nothing, nothing else worthwhile. Oh, wow, no, no useful items found. Shocking. Uh-oh, we got another guy over here. Uh, I'm definitely going to go after him. I like going after these uh, bandits and looters. Just something really satisfying about the whole thing. Where'd he go? He must have went down. Oh, he's up there now? Get back here, you. Where'd he go? Hmm. Is he hiding from me? All right, finally. Goodness gracious. Chased him all over creation. He's 28 hexes away. Wow. Okay. Well, let's just walk up on him. Feeble and barefoot. Crowbar with a strap is his weapon. I remember those days. Wait, did I talk to him? I didn't mean to do that. Looter retreats from there. I didn't mean to do that. He's got a backpack. All right, let's kill this guy first. Red, red shirt. Oh, they're both moving away from me. I want a backpack guy. He looks like he has more stuff. He's got no conditions, so he might... I accidentally spoke to the other guy. That's what gave him... Yeah, because it, it switched. It moved things around, yeah. That's why he got away. He's vulnerable, so that must mean he's, like, got his head down. Does he see me? I'm visible. Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, it takes forever. I really don't... Yeah, I can't run when I got the sled anyway. That's okay. I don't run away from a fight. He is running away from me, though. Oh my gosh. Fine. Here's what we'll do. We'll drop this, and we'll go after you. We're going to run after you this time. Got close some distance here. He's trying to get away from me. There we go. Finally. Got him. Let's lure him. Take him to the ground. That didn't work. I missed. Looter's lower chest was better. Oh, yeah. He just didn't fall down. That was impressive. Normally they fall down. Leg trip. He's fallen. Good. Let's do a melee surge. Oh, that hurt him. He passed out. I have to take a break, though, after a surge like that. He woke back up. Oh, no. He's unconscious still. He lost some other condition. I'm not sure what it was. Finish him. All right, there we go. Let's get our uh, sled back before we... First things first. There we go. What's he got? That backpack is nice. And 21% uh, condition. Ours is better. We'll keep what we got. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think I'm going to keep that, though, for my own medical needs. So... But he's got an $80 backpack or a $80 sleeping bag. And he's got a nice piece of meat. Alright. Alright, children, stop your giggling. Alright, we're getting rid of the. Uh... Oh, I could probably put it in there, actually. Yeah, this is a 
good exchange of space as well. Oh yeah. Let me empty this out, actually. See what these pills are. Got painkillers and a little blue pill. Those painkillers are worth. Well, wow, that's seven of them. That's pretty good though. Alright, let me separate out these recipes. I think I have that one already. Cryo lighting, yeah. Rear weight with strap. I think I have that as well. I'm not too worried about it. Can I empty out that? Empty these out. Put these pills in here. There we go. So I gotta look this one up, guys. My wife just went to sleep. So I can't ask her. Oh, it's Ambien. Sleeping pills. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. Good to know. Learn something new every day. We'll take this and put it in our first aid kit. Wait. Yeah, we emptied everything out. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I don't need that one. I'm going to keep this pill bottle. That pill bottle. And that pill bottle. Antibiotics. And some clean rags. Putting together a nice little first aid kit. Honestly. Yeah, oh, yeah. And the, my lighter goes in there in case I need to cauterize a wound. Um, go ahead and eat. Yeah, because it'll go bad before we venture off again anyway. So The funny thing is you don't know what kind of meat it is. It could be human meat that he cooked up. But we're going to eat it. For now. There we go. It serves me better in my stomach. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything we want. Uh, oh, yeah, we can take this. Put this back in here for now. So $45 plus another 30 something dollars. That's like 70 bucks worth of stuff right there. And that might just save our lives. It did in the last life. And then it saved us long enough for me to starve to death. So I lived long enough to starve. At least there's that. At least I have that going for me. Got big city over here. Now let's check these out. And, and we got three right here that we can search. So we're definitely going over this way. Especially now that we got this new backpack. And somebody's here. Somebody is here. Um, there could be a lot of loot on the ground from this guy. So I don't really want to ditch a vehicle. At the same time, I kind of think I should. So I'm going to go ahead and ditch a vehicle. Leap of faith. Stranger. Frail. Barefoot. Let's move on him. So not only are we going to get the loot. Uh, yeah, you're trying to get, you're trying to lure me away from my, my sled. I see what you're doing there. I don't want to let you come up behind me while I'm looting and hit me with a sack full of pennies. He's running away. He's got a gun. He's got a revolver. I want that. I need to get behind cover, though. Advance behind cover is what I need to do. Dang it. This dude's cagey. He just eliminated his tracks, didn't he? I think he went into this this right here. What'd it say? Players in the campsite with an average above average with an average sleeping bag. Did I leave that on the ground? I think I did. Oh, my bad. Oh, I forgot to pick it up. That was out of that other guy's backpack. That's what it was. Here. Yeah, we'll just throw it in here. Backpack's everywhere. Now that's $80. So we don't want to leave that behind. Alright, I'm just going to loot. I wanted that gun, but he's he's running from me. Uh, we'll, we'll loot in the morning. We won't make a lot of noise tonight. I don't want the guy with the gun to sneak up behind me because he's cagey. So he could still sneak up on us, but we're going to have all of our noise traps out and do everything we can to be as safe as possible. All right, let's find a good... Nice. We got a, two nice buildings. Let's see, see which one's best. That one was really good. There it is. That's a really good one. All right, that looks pretty good. Very weary. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that we 
I know we slept good last time, but man, I didn't realize we were getting that tired that fast. Maybe it's because we're burdened. It's increasing the speed at which we get tired. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, high tracks. I guess we already... I meant to hit sleep. Yep. Still good. Okay, looks good. Something approaches you. Eh, is this going to be our guy? Get up. Dog man. Oh, we got to fight a dog man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Coughing up blood. Messed with the wrong guy. Messed with the wrong guy. Make a coat out of you. I'm going to make a $200 coat out of you. While I'm dragging my sled around. Good thing we had our uh, traps out, right? Let's just keep attacking. Did we kill him? Yes, we did. Either that or he's sleeping. So, time to craft. Let's get our craft on. Trapping. And uh, we're going to eat well tonight. What's this? So, this is my smartphone. Okay. And then I need a uh, shard of glass or a Leatherman. I don't care which. There we go. Whatever I see first. There's a dogman coat right there, baby. Oh, that was nice. Let's clear all that off. We're definitely taking that coat with us. Can't wear. Can't double them up. Hmm, that ain't gonna fit. That ain't gonna fit either. Well, if I have to get rid of the $36 shoe, I will, but I think maybe I can make this work somehow. Yeah, throw that in there. It'll be alright. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Good stuff. Well, let's sleep and we'll do the fire in the morning, do all our looting in the morning. Probably have to go to some adjacent square to get what we need, but first we need to continue to sleep. So hopefully another dog man comes. There we go. All right. We'll run down here. Um, maybe I'll just grab all the meat. Can I grab all the meat? Or is it going to take up too much room? We can cure some of it. You know what? Let's come back here for the fire. So I'm going to just jump down here real quick. Grab what I need. Grab a couple of those. There. And that will cure up a whole bunch of that. And we can actually take back a lot of that meat and sell it too. So... Not a bad, not a bad problem to have. That's still good. That's good. Didn't think it would spoil that quick. All right. So let's get our friction fire going here. Lovely. And then I'm going to have to... Uh, that I need more wood. Okay, there we go. Now I need a stick and I need uh need my ashes. I wish I'd just keep all the like items together. You know, rather than spread them out like I got water all over the place, meat all over the place. Of those pieces of meat are worth the big ones are worth $31 just raw I think once they're cured they're worth more but uh, I'll find out here soon that's cured meat good they've got their trapping skill and the fire's in good shape I need more ashes though I think I thought I had more ashes didn't I there they are Let's see if that's enough I don't think so, but it'll be close. Not enough rooms left, of course, after all that. Dog man, bring it on, son. Come on. Come on. You know what's up? Should we just go attack him? I think we go attack him. Ditch that vehicle. 22 spaces out. He's like, why is this guy running at me? It's crazy, fool. It's 
crazy because I'm ready for some combat, man. I'm ready to fight it, fight it out. All right, here we go. Coughing blood, stun, bleeding. Mm, let's lure him. Here we go. His chest was whipped. Let's go ahead and hit him again. Leg trip him. Take him to the ground. Fall and vulnerable. Kick him in the head. Stab him in the head. <laughs> I got him in the right leg. Okay. Let's keep keep after him. Don't give him a chance to get up. Unconscious. Finish him. Right, well, we now have a a great problem here. We got so much food. Got a lot of water. Lots of great stuff to go back and trade. An embarrassment of riches, honestly, at this point. So we're having a great episode. It's already 45 minutes into the episode. Start playing this game, time just flies by. So the developer of this game did make another, like, same style game here, except it takes place in space. So it's like Octo or, like, what is it, Octo Scavengers or something like that? Or Astra, Astra Scavenger? I can't remember, but it's like a space version of this. So I think I'm going to go and play that after we get done completing this game. Definitely, that's next on the agenda. Uh, once this one's done. Alright, let's do what we did before. Let's make another 200 bucks here. Okay. I don't want to use the shard of glass, I don't think. Well, one of them... Which one are we using? Nah, I don't really care, honestly. No, don't do that. I need my uh, trapping skill. There we go. To make the coat. I don't want fur. I want I want the coat. Clear. Okay. I think I should carry my meat up there, too. Oh, yeah. That's right. My vehicle. Ooh. I can put that coat in there if I get rid of the sleeping bag. I think I need to do that. I don't need that boot either. Let's uh let's put that in there. Well, mm, mm, let me see. Mm, I think I can make this work. No, really? Well I can put this one in here. Stack them. Double stacked. Put that oh so close. It won't work, will it? Uh, come on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's put this one. Like that. That one up here. This one over here. Oop. I don't think that'll work. It did work. Yay. Yay. Or as little John would say, yeah. All right. I don't have any more room in that. <laughs> I want to put more meat in there. See, okay, so that's like $500 worth of stuff. Plus the backpack itself, and that well, yeah, that's why it's four hundred sixty dollars for the whole thing. Ooh, I could put stuff in there. Yeah, you know, I could put both these. I could put both of these backpacks in that, and I'm already getting expansion here. I'm getting more space here. That's gonna be awesome. Let's do that. Oops, stop that. There we go. Will you fit? You won't fit in there. Really? Even if, oh, I guess they won't let you put backpacks inside backpacks. That's probably what it is. All right, well, that goes in there. What? Is it? Will it only work if I? Okay, I guess I can't. Who am I carrying here? I say, sack. We're gonna. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Let me get rid of this. I guess it only works if you have it in your hand. That one backpack that I have here. On my sled. It doesn't look like you can... Okay. That's 57% condition. That's pretty good. Okay, well, I want... I think I'm going to stack this manually. It's two cents for that sack. Um... Okay, because it was collapsed. That was the thing. It was collapsed. Wait, if I put stuff in it here, will it then... No, it has to be in your hand to be open. Okay. Alright, well, so be it. 
Well, we got a little bit more room back here. So I think what I'll do, I'll keep that. Yeah, let's put all the meat in there. I should still have enough room for... Where did that one go? Up there, okay. And not too worried about these pieces of meat. Do with the saucepan. Get my foil, get my flashlight. Shards of glass. Oh, here's the other thing. The sled's really nice too, because small things like batteries and shards of glass, they don't fall through because there's no holes in the actual sled. Whereas my my makeshift sled with the made out of the wood, that that had issues. How much is that worth if I it's just five dollars? Let's eat that. Gas mask cartridge, we'll keep that. Everything else I'm pretty okay with. I know, I got a, I got a bow. Uh, no, I don't have a bow. Why am I carrying all these arrows then? I can make those anytime I want, really. Mm, I don't know if I should leave them behind for anybody, though. I could probably put them here. Ooh, it works. Wonderful. Okay, and I definitely want to take the water tester. That thing's worth some money. And got some charges. And I wonder if I could take the charges out of there and put them in something different. I don't know. Maybe. Scraps of foil. I already have like 30 foil, but I need more, I think. So put that down here. And I think we pretty much got everything we wanted out of this area. Okay. Well, let's... Um, I'm going to head back down here, go back to the forest, grab some more firewood, and cook up some more meat. Let me first, before I go too crazy here... I don't think I picked up any of the cured meat. I want to see how much it was worth. Yeah, let's go down here, and then let's drop drop off some of this meat so I can... Oh, my campfire's still going. But we're going to need more ashes, which is going to cost wood, which we don't have. All right, let me see how much these are worth. Those are $38 now. Ooh, raw meat is $47? That's thir that must be the condition. I bet you, yeah, it's the condition. Does it change? I bet you when we come back, it's, it's different price because it the, the lower the condition the, the less you get okay so we got one two three four five six two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah I don't have enough wood to get them all let me make sure I am I do have my sled, right? Okay. Just want to make sure I wasn't leaving anything behind. Alright, good. Okay, let's just head up to the forest. And... Another guy? Man. Just keep... Oh, It's just like such a target-rich environment. Oh my gosh. Keep coming, guys. These are all spoiled now. Human meat spoiled. He just... as He's de... He, <laughs> he's already uh, decomposing. We got some decomp over here. Smells like it, too. I don't think I need that. Scrap it for him. Take that and add it to the to the pile. There we go. I don't see anything they can really use against me. Maybe the pot. No. Let's get another drink here while we're here. There we go. Top off our drink. Head back down here. I think it was this one, wasn't it? Nope, that wasn't it. Was it? This hex? Which hex was it? Or was it here? Maybe it was it yeah, it must have been the town. Yeah, it was. It was the town. It was the it was the city. That's where all the meat is. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I think I think maybe the price has changed, I'm not sure. Okay. Regardless, let's get this uh fire going. It's now a small baby little fire. Um, but we have plenty of wood now, so no concerns there. And we need to uh, make that get some ashes. I think that should be enough. And we can just use a small fire at this point. So let me grab all these ashes. Probably run out of turns before we get all the co meat cooked, but we'll do the best we can. Is that all the ashes? Yes, because you got to play. Where's Waldo with the items you're trying to find? Alright. I think that's good. 
Oh, I know what I need. I need my trapping skill. See, like, all the skills are all just, just not even on the same page. That's, oh, that's, I thought it was four pieces of meat. I'm like, man, that's a lot of pieces of meat. I don't know this, this is even stacked. How's this fire doing? It's doing great. It probably won't survive the end of the turn, though. So what we'll do here is uh, put these over here. I don't have to move them anyway. Make a big fire again. And then normally a big fire survives the turn, I think. I'm in pain. What am I in pain for? What's, what's the matter with me? Oh, minor bruising. Oh, get over it. What a drama queen. Oh my gosh. The end of the episode's coming. I want to get all this meat cured and start striking off down to the crossroads before I have to bid you guys adieu. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. That's it. Just four. So close. We're gonna come back with a lot of money. We're or we're gonna come out of this with a lot of money if we can make it back, back down to Detroit without getting killed. Where's my fire? My fire's around here. Did it not survive? I don't get it. I'm confused by the fire. Like sometimes it does, and it was a hundred percent fire. Like why didn't it survive that? It's not a big deal. I mean. It's easy to make another one, but if I had to, like, use precious resources to do it every time I didn't have the trapping skill, I'd be a little annoyed by that. A little, a little perturbed, you know? All right, let's throw up our uh, meat. Oh, if you hear a little woofing in the background. My big old German Shepherd is over on the couch behind me, dreaming. Yeah, she's dreaming. There she goes. Yeah, I don't think you guys are probably here. There she goes. That's pretty funny. All right. And trapping skill. It's melee. That's hacking, electrician. Where's my trapping skill? Did I, did I set down my tracking skill and forget? Oh, here it is. It's up here. Why is it? Oh, we need ashes. That's right. Ashes. What is that? Five pieces of meat, five minutes. Should be it. Wonderful. All right, cool. Let's see if I can actually store it. Oh, apparently I cooked some of it. But that's all right. Take the most valuable pieces first, obviously. I think those are probably go bad before I make it there. I'm probably just going to have to eat these. Literally. And we're just kind of throwing meat anywhere we can at the moment. $50 piece. We're taking that. 35, 35, 50, oh, 53. That's even better. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think we're, we're full up on pieces of meat and coats and all that stuff. Running into those dogmen was really, oh, you know what? There we go. Let me rearrange this. I think I can get a couple more. Well, one more. Make sure it's a good one. Yeah, they're all the same. Okay. Yeah, I, I know that this one is uh, worth forty, but it's gonna—it's got the condition's gonna drop so fast it'll go bad before we ever make it back to camp. I think it'll only be good for like maybe two nights, and we're more than two nights away from uh, the DMC. All right. So, guys, looking here at the clock. Ooh, good timing. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely made a lot of progress here. See you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching.